All right, everyone. Welcome back to block party number 21. And uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, Dana, Jackie, Julio, Peter, James. And uh, we're about to give a, a little recap. We've been having really great conversations today about the conversation, which we're about to kick off tomorrow morning, Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Pacific time for a full 24 hours. And that'll be the kickoff. Peter, great to see you. Like, get us rolling here. Nice to be here, Jamin. And uh, thank you, Block Party, for being such a wonderful space for conversations and, and really paving the way for what we're up to here uh, starting tomorrow, which is the conversation, uh, the network of networks of conversations and the opportunity for us to use the technology that is now here with us. And I'm at an airport, so you might get some extra, uh, get some extra fun there. But uh, we're, we're daring to use the technology and use our interconnected uh, reality to, to step forward with this program called The Conversation, whereby we're, we're basically personifying a search bar. We're, we're making your search bar alive with a person, 24 uh, seven Zoom operator standing by to assist as, as you explore what conversations you can get involved in, which content you can go search out. And not, so it's, it's a lounge, as Jamin will explain more, it's, like, it's a Zoom lounge where the, the operator, or what we're calling the, the lounge wizard, instead of lounge lizards, we're now having lounge wizards, will, will guide you toward what you're looking to learn about. And it's really quite fascinating to explore and to, to play with this idea that we can just go hang out in a room. The analogy I like to use is, was just at a weekend workshop at a hotel, right? And the, and the, the conference, the weekend conference is over, but all the attendees are still at the hotel. So they all go and hang out in the lobby bar. And then from there, you're meeting all these like-minded people who then you break off into different groups and say, let's go talk about this over here or who wants to go out to dinner, or who wants to go to the hot tub, right? It's just like well, these like-minded folks can then separate themselves into different pockets. And that's what we're creating online 24-7. Um, and we'll need your help. We're looking for volunteers to come and play. This is a very organic happening that we're just daring to, to do. And it's, it's really great to be connected and given it a world, Jenna. Beautiful, thank you, Peter. Um, and thanks everyone for being a part of the conversation. You know, in, in, in its simplest terms, if we imagine, uh, and Peter, you might want to mute one, um, uh, um, is uh, in its simplest terms, think of the entire, Melvin brother, welcome. How you doing there, Melvin? Um, all right, Melvin's just getting settled in there. We're, we're just recording a little uh, summary. So you're here at the perfect time, Melvin. Um, we're talking about a network of conversations that we're kicking off tomorrow at 6 a.m. Saturday morning, Pacific time, right? Um, and it's, it's sort of a hub and spoke model, right? Where uh, the, uh, at the hub is what Peter just mentioned, which is the lounge, right? What we're calling the lounge. And that's where everyone can gather and meet each other and learn about this thing called the conversation, right? Uh, this network, which is really a network of conversations with a hub in the middle called the lounge. Melvin, how'd you like to kick it with us at the lounge, bro? It's vegan. What do you say? Anyway, that's what I'm talking about. So we'll be kicking it at the lounge. New people will be arriving. Welcome back, Danny. And uh, we're just doing a recording here, a little synopsis. Um, so, New people will be arriving and we'll just be welcoming them. It'll just be one beautiful kumbaya warm welcome. Welcome to the conversation. And what's the conversation? Well, the conversation is really a network of conversations, right? That's the hub and the spokes are all the individual conversations, right? But the big kahuna is the lounge, which is the hub, right? And so the idea is very simple. Everyone arrives at the lounge. That's where we kind of get our orientation, talk about what this is all about, and direct people to the different conversations that they want to be a part of. And that's what Peter's talking about. It's like a very personalized uh, experience. And you know, we'll have people, even if it's like an elder shows up that I'm not really tech savvy, how do I do this? 
one of us will go with them to whatever conversation they want to go to and introduce them and you know make sure they have a really you know smooth and gentle landing what we're really doing is we're setting a new bar for compassion within the conversational domain look if we're going to have if we're going to have conversations they might as well be compassionate it's just like if i go to my sister jackie's house and she's going to cook up some burritos they might as well be hot right vegan burritos might as well be hot all right okay if we're going to have conversations they might as well be compassionate and um, so we're developing, what do we mean by that? What is a certified compassionate conversation? And what is the point of this whole network of conversations? Peter, what's the point of it all? <laughs> yeah, so the, the point of it all is to connect, to remember that we're already connected, to, to access collective intelligence, right? We are facing some very serious situations uh, with our with our habitat, with our ability to grow food, with what's happening geopolitically. You know, it's a pretty confusing time. You throw in COVID and the racial issues that have raised the, the bar back up again. And it's like all of this is just begging us to have better conversations, to ask better questions, to dive deeper into what's really going on, and, and to then collect wisdom and create new wisdom this collective intelligence, if you will, that will allow us to come up with better answers to better questions that we're asking about how do we move forward as a species, right? That it's time. And, you know, different people have different opinions about how urgent our situation is. But uh, from here, it's incredibly urgent. It's incredibly urgent. And so we're urging forward as fast as we can. And you, Jamin, have been holding space for this with your block party and beyond, radish.org and other other organizations daring to hold space for this collective intelligence to emerge and it's happening and last week if you missed world unity week you got to go back and check it out worldunityweek.org created the space it really birthed what's happening here in that we realized how easy it was to meet in a group to then say here's my zoom number go over here if you want to talk about coral reefs and go over here if you want to talk about permaculture and we used to technology called open space where you you land in a in a lounge and then in that lounge here's the 30 people that are hanging out saying hey who wants to talk about what just as if you were at the lobby bar of the hotel uh, at your convention and and from that lobby bar people made choices about what they wanted to talk about and then they'd follow a zoom link and go over to this conversation and all the conversations were pointing toward how do we create unity consciousness how do we create this collective consciousness how do we move our species towards a new way of being on the planet and that's what we're up to here is daring to ask better questions access better wisdom and then put that wisdom to ta to task put it out call to action monitor what is happening on the planet that these aren't just nice conversations and we go home and say i had a really nice chat with jamin and melissa today right no it's like, I was moved to do this, and I'm putting my name on that, and I'm sharing this, and, and we're going to create positive change. Beautiful, Peter. Thank you. And I would add that, you know, for me, the ultimate goal of all this is quite simple, to save, heal, and transform life on Earth. Full stop. And to put it in more uh, precise terms, I'll just show a couple images, just because sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. Um, and uh, let's see here, PowerPoint two. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me, I got to redo that. The, the screen sharing is a funny thing, um, but I think I got it. Yep, now I got it, okay. So, in, in terms of the topics that we're going to be covering in these myriad conversation, the myriad spokes uh, of the wheel emanating out from the hub, the lounge, some of them will be on very high level topics, such as, you know, what does our world need to be whole? What, what, what is a whole world, right? Well, we can break it down in different ways, like people and planet, and we can break it down into different 
kind of categories or strata of needs, physical needs, social, spiritual, higher needs, needs for the planet, and break it down into all the different solution areas where we need to develop solutions. This is just a quick little sampling, but the point is that we need to develop a whole taxonomy of all the topics that are relevant, problems and solutions, right? And perspectives and levels of integration and all the spiritual stuff and all the science stuff and all the, all the stuff that's relevant, which is a massive amount. So we need to develop this whole rich taxonomy, if you will. Uh, I would call it a teleological taxonomy because it has a telos, an aim of a whole world, a world that is saved, healed, and transformed. So join us. And uh, Peter, I'll, I'll give you the last words. But w one thing I'll say before I pass the mic is one really crucial part of this, which is also just super fun. Peter, you talked about it as kind of this advanced search, personalized search support. But you could think of this whole thing overall as a giant match.com, but instead of, you know, boy meets girl, it is human being meets conversation. Right. There's all these great conversations happening out there and there's all these amazing human beings, but like, you know, who needs to go where? And you see right now what, what's, what's happening, I, I call it the, you know, the Tijuana street vendor model. You pull up to a busy intersection in Tijuana, one kid comes up wanting to sell you bubble gum. Another one comes up trying to sell you limes. Another one comes up trying to sell you, I don't know, an accordion. And so it's like each one's trying to sell their own conversation to you because each one has a pretty cool conversation going on. What we, but what we need is basically the Walmart of conversations so that you can take your shopping cart and just you know, find all the conversations that look interesting to you and you figure out which one you open first and jump into, right? Yeah, so, that's that, it. That's, that's well said that, that the whole system has shifted from sitting there watching whatever you put on TV, TV channels, to now it's, it's the consumer choice to where they want to go. And with the Netflix of the world and the YouTube of the world, that you could go anywhere you want now and watch whatever you want, right? And that's also true now with transformational uh, events and transformational conversations and all the wisdom that's flying around in all the different categories that these programs like World Unity Week and One Earth Live and one that's happening this weekend with the Harmonic Convergence and another one Disclosure Fest and after that, you know, or ongoing Ubiquity University and the Shift Network and the Co-Creators Convergence and, and, and all these groups are putting together amazing content. So aside from the lounge and the search bar, is also this living library of content that has happened in the past and will continue to happen nowadays that everyone can record their content in the moment. You get the most up-to-date wisdom that's evolving in our ever-changing and ever so fast-changing world that you can instantly tap into through all these different um, programs that have happened and hours and hours of content from the top speakers around the world will now be accessible through this through this website, con theconversation.cc, and also through the lounge, if you want a personal escort to walk you through and, and help guide you, like a friend saying, you should watch this movie because you'll like it, or you should go to this restaurant because I went there and it's good. Now you have this lounge wizard guiding you to the person and the groups that you might be most interested in connecting with. And that's the magic of what's happening. And we're just going to be asking all of you to step up to say, I want to play. I want to be in the lounge for a couple hours on Tuesday night from seven to nine and be there for people. And sometimes there may only be one person in the lounge. And other times there may be 20 or a hundred people in the lounge who are just hanging out in the lounge, waiting for that conversation that they want specifically. And, and then they go off into another conversation if they want. And so it's going to give, everyone 24 7 access to be heard to to speak what's happening to them to hear all the wisdom that's flying around and to take a choice if they want to go off to another room or go off to hundreds of, of content possibilities and here we go the conversation.cc it's it's happening collective intelligence is steering us we're all headed to the same place and that's this unity consciousness and this expression of unity consciousness out into the world as we dare to remember that we are the planet happening. We are life unfolding as these humans. And we are in a space to take better care of each other 
and the planet during this oh so crucial time. And here we are in 2020. We always knew 2020 was going to be something magical. And here it is, this opportunity for humanity to evolve before our very eyes and take a step take as many steps as possible towards collective intelligence to ask better questions and come up with better answers. Thank you, Jamin. And also hats off to uh, Shilas Rao, uh, Salish Rao, who's a big part of our team too. And all of you who are lurking, ready to become leaders in this movement with us because it's, it, there's no hierarchy here. We're just waiting for you to step in and say, I want to take a few hours and here's our content. So let's do it. Beautiful, Peter. Beautiful. Um, I'd like to ask Julio if, when, whenever he's ready to turn his, oh, good. You're good to go. I just wanted to check and see if you're there. Good to go. All righty. Uh, any comments from anyone here who's been listening in? Yes, Dana. Okay. I just had two questions. One, it's happening every day. This event is happening every day. And then the second question is, is it any different than the open space model or is it the same, or are there any any differences between those? Sorry, I was muted. Um, so similar, similar and different. Uh, in the open space model that we used with World Unity Week, uh, there was a half an hour for everyone to get to know each other and then everyone to present uh, what conversation they wanted to host. And then folks went off for an hour and then came back. And that was a beautiful model. And I'm sure that will happen in that format sometimes. But the general format is that we're just there 24 seven. So you show up in a room and there may be three people or there may be 30. And you may just wanna hang out in the lounge until a, a specific conversation comes up that you wanna track or that you wanna start, right? So then, so you step up and say, I wanna do one about energetic healing and here's my Zoom link, right? And, and anybody wanna talk about energetic healing? And, and then you get three or four people say, I do, let's go now, right? And then in the chat bar, there's, there's Dana saying, come to my personal Zoom for a talk about energetic healing. And then that remains on the chat bar. So when new people come in and here comes, here comes Susie from Boise, Idaho into the, chat, into the lounge and the lounge wizard says, hello, what are you looking for? And she said, well, I'm not really sure what's happening right now. Well, what's happening right now over there on Dana's Zoom call, you see in the chat room, she's talking about energetic healing. And over here, there's someone talking about how to grow plants uh, during the winter time. And then there's another conversation happening over here about right, climate change. Whatever of the current topics that are happening will be presented to those people in real time and also will be offering people a list. I see this growing into a TV guide for Zoom calls, right? where it's like, well, it's Tuesday at seven o'clock. Starting at eight o'clock, Tony is doing his talk about permaculture. And at nine o'clock, did you know that uh, Carol does her thing about meditation? Oh, and there's this ongoing yoga thing that happens at 11. And those are the things that, those are the next four things that are coming up in case you're looking for something to do tonight. And you forgot to mention, Vegans of Color, which is starting right <laughs> now, led by my sister, Jackie. No, this is for real. So we're going to, let's stop this recording now, kick off the new one of Vegans of Color, and let's keep rolling with it with a real life, real conversation. Shall we do it? Amen. Awesome. Great stuff, everyone. And uh, we'll, we'll see you blessings. soon. The blessings. Conver blessings. Go to theconversation.cc to, to, to join the fun. All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.